In and out the most important video of the day. Ah, uh, uh, the this video started in the morning. This is practically a new Polo, Volkswagen Polo. Well, I have no idea. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's a it's a set like this. Let me see this. Okay. okay. The thing is that <coughs> it's probably alright. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna sit over next to the passenger seat on the passenger seat as well. Uh, but for this seat, I can say that <coughs> I'm not comfortable with it. I feel like I am just falling inside with what you see here. The sides pushing out and the middle basically pushing me in. This is actually, if true, I don't know. Let me see. Let me feel like what that is like. What that feels like. Well, I don't know. I, I don't, uh, anyhow, I don't feel too good today. The day started in the morning. <coughs> Badly is what I'm trying to say. And <coughs> it is related to the topic I started right now. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's like more or less the same thing, yeah. It, this is just Volkswagen Polo. It's a really good car, but this is, this is the same thing, more or less this is the same thing. Now, <coughs> this would make sense because the car is still almost like new. The car has, I don't know, 60,000 kilometers or something. Um, here's the deal. The mechanics, however, claimed me exactly what I semi-suggested. <coughs> I'm not gonna say I didn't, because in a way I did. Also, not directly, I did in a certain way suggested a possibility of basically I'd say this is a seat of having seat modified so that when you would sit in one um, if this would be a middle of the seat you would just have basically a sort of spy problem a spine problem you would be like on the out on the on the outer on the outer ends of the seat <coughs> you would be pushed out yeah uh, but in the middle you would be just like dragged in pushed inside um in other words you'd make like a like a curve like this you know what i mean um now let's go to the real problem the real problem what's the real problem uh, let's see this let me explain to you how my day started today the day started for me today in such a way by the way the mechanics insisted that they will do this stuff like this please head mechanics insist insist in front of me i'm not gonna say my face the mk ultra that all they gotta do is they gotta take care of that immediately so that I would have problem with that stuff too. I don't think they did that stuff quite. I don't think they did this. You know? However, and because I feel not good, I don't feel good at all, you know. Um, the day just started like this that <coughs> it left me with now I'm referring to the heart with a lot of pain. Yeah. I woke up this morning and I got wonderful man, eight hours of sleep. Didn't get eight hours of sleep already. I don't know. This was just phenomenal, but you know, sleep. And uh, as I uh, stretch myself like this, I can actually hear inside of me like a rapture of major artery or something like this. It felt it, I could hear, you know, it did like this, you know, in, in deep inside of my chest. I could bet almost more on this side, on the back, closer to the back than front. And it kind of, <coughs> it wasn't good. It hurt. And I uh, realized that at night time, <coughs> there was actually not a presence of blood, but there was quite a lot of blood in it, in the urine. When I checked out in the morning, it really looked promising, you know. And I'm going to take you now to the biggest crime of them all, for which a police investigator stated me that once I do something like this, and what I did last night for the first time, I did use, <laughs> not a pillow, but I did use what police was using all along uh, for support during sleep. Uh, so they placed that under the pillow. As you know, I sleep on the floor. Um, and they realized that sleeping on the floor for me uh, is just not healthy. You know, when I say for me, it's something that they have done so much Injuries to me during this MK Ultra that uh, just sleeping on the floor, like in a, you know, the flat is healthy as it gets. It's hard, it's flat, it's really good for you. Um, if you could do it your entire life, you would be as healthy as, you know, as anyone possibly can be. 
Uh, but because of the injuries they did to me, because of the possibility of anemia and stuff like this, I figured out that <clears throat> I needed something under my back for the first time I did this, uh, so that I would elevate the upper body quite high, actually, um, and, uh, you know, see how I'm going to do with that. Uh, that, as I pointed out, did result in a very decent amount of sleep. Um, but it came with a hefty, hefty price. Police was using, and I'm glad it did. <coughs> I'm pretty sure that tomorrow when I wake up, <coughs> I'll probably feel better. But right now, still, and you can see in the evening, God, I'll like it. 7 o'clock in the morning, between 6 and 7. Still, right now, at, <coughs> at yeah, whatever, 9 something. An entire day, <coughs> I have a pain in the back. And I'm certain this was not because of the liver. I'm certain this was because of the heart. What I suggest to you right now, how I could hear this artery just, you know. You know when you, let's say you stretch and you have bones, you can hear bones? Um, this is just an awkward position police managed to accomplish through MK Ultra by positioning me in a rather like extremely dangerous uh, position that would, as a result, push my hands forward, you know, and leave the spine basically curved, you know, sitting inside of that, um, you know, position. This is like really, really bad stuff. Uh, and uh, every fucking time during MK Ultra, when I would wake up, uh, I had pain, especially because they wouldn't allow to sleep. They targeted heart, uh, cardio cardiovascular pain, of course, uh, to the degree that waking up in the mornings next to police officers, investigators, uh, every time hearing what I heard today made me not only realize that uh, they are actually killing me, that this is going to result in a major problem, artery, heart, God knows what, you know, what kind of problem. This was definitely not good. It was so bad that I was afraid to even during MK Ultra go sleep. When I recalled this stuff that it repeated and repeated every fucking morning, you know, that you would just have this feeling, you could feel, you know, that something, it's like, it's like difficult to actually express, explain. But, you know, this is like you would stretch, you know, vein or something like this. And you could hear one, you know, not vein, but artery, and you could, you could hear one like, you know, like adjusting itself. Yeah, this is yet another injury these people did, and who the hell knows? Maybe it's got something to do with the bleeding. It's definitely not a good news. It hurts in the back still. And uh, now let me go. A police officer investigator. Oh man, these people are so evil that it is actually impossible to describe this stuff. This is impossible to describe. The police officer investigator told me, <coughs> reminded me, make sure that you support your head, that you put something underneath, that you, so that you can sleep. And I said, and what am I gonna, <coughs> and what, like what, you know? <coughs> and he said, and this here, which was right there. This is a father's room. It was right there. And they always left it there. And the police officer stated to me, oh yeah, and if I see you using that stuff, I am going to be here tomorrow because it's going to be perfect setting for me. It's going to be perfect setup for me. You do understand what I'm trying to say to you, do you? They wanted alibi for what I stated so badly. They wanted alibi so much without my stating what I stated. Uh, preferably not to even realize this kind of stuff. I recall one that he stated that if you do something like this, if you're going to use that stuff, basically the stuff that we used, I'm going to be investigating this incident tomorrow. Meaning that he would walk inside and start to record basically something that they were using during MK Ultra all along to cause harm, to cause injuries. That's not a good stuff. Um, what I wanted to say to you <coughs> in respect to this stuff. I don't know if it's, if it's, if it's, what is it? I have no idea. According to <coughs> physician, it shouldn't be. It should probably have something to do with it. I don't know. Some other part, <coughs> most likely with the liver, whatever. <coughs> um, but <coughs> this is one of the issues 
uh, pertaining to the heart. Uh, the police officers have the mechanics brainwashing how they're going to fix the car also that's going to do this kind of injury and so on. It was also that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know. I, I think the seats are probably just the way they should be. It should have been. Uh, I understand they were trying to drive father also insane because it's politicians that do an MKR went back and forth throughout the house and investigated everything. How, who sleeps where, how, this and that. <coughs> and uh, did uh, try to set my father up with these issues. And uh, did, I understand, set him up with these issues. But they started, it's like started to complain like, like well, I don't understand why he's doing still well with this. You know, started to complain about why, why father, they said, doing, okay, we did this one, you know, referring to me, but we tried to do him and so on, and his, uh, his body is not responding to this issue and so on. So. Um, this is a very, very bad one. Uh, God forbid, man, that I would wake up one more time with something like this. Uh, this is fucked up. But they've been in for years. It's exactly what they were doing. God knows how many fucking years. Decades. It's exactly what they were doing. They were using the same shit always. Uh, I wouldn't say decades. I wouldn't go that far. Once I purchased uh, this, um, what do I even say? Foam. You can lie onto on the floor. That's when they started to do that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I don't know. Maybe I have no idea when. Ten years ago or not? I don't know. About maybe eight years ago, something like this, I purchased it nine years ago, I don't know. Yeah, actually, yeah, I think it was ten years ago. The thing is that, also I want to say to you that when I was inside of the psychiatric hospital, Ljubljana Polje, um, this, this stuff, this whole NKO, this stuff was so bad that when they loaded me with this psychiatric drugs, um, you know, these drugs are designed basically to just make you sleep. Not really to make you sleep, but they're designed to cause injuries, internal injuries. This was, I felt, like some sort of lobotomy. Because it would really retard even your thinking process and everything in a way if you wanted to talk. Not really, but move the jaw. I had a problem. This stuff, the psychiatric pills were paralyzing me. If this were psychiatric pills at all. It's a good question what the hell this was. Um, you know. It will pull your jaws aside and so on. It will retard you. Saliva would be running out of the mouth. You, you've seen me on the videos how I look like. And uh, I was sure that because of pain, I endured consuming the psychiatric pills that my internal organs from the pain, from it's impossible to describe. I felt like it's going to tear them apart, everything. I was pretty sure I'm not going to even survive that stuff. <clears throat> and... Uh, <clears throat> I couldn't even make the bed when I would be brought to psychiatric hospital. Now, they, they told me, nurses in psychiatric hospital during MK Ultra, they told me, because they observed that this psychiatric drugs, which I think it was more than drugs, I think it was a poison inside, produced a, such an enormous amount of pain to me that the nurses claimed me, there is no oil that can be dripping from your head, from your scalp. It's impossible, they told me. Uh, there's no way that something like this could be. Uh, so if your forehead is going to be covered with, <clears throat> it's going to be a water, just remember this. It's not the oil. But the thing is that it was oil. It wasn't water that was coming out of me. It was, it was, um, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's impossible to explain. I could not make the bed for myself. It was other people, other patients that made bad for me because this psychiatric pills caused such a pain, such a stuff that it wasn't the oil drops that I would have on my forehead and, and my head. It, it was just actually dripping from me. I have never seen anything like this. And he's talking about the oil. I mean, I'm talking about the fucking water or something like this, sweat. You know, in psychiatric hospital, I didn't want to get up anymore. It was a time when I just wanted to sleep and die, basically. And um, I would be already inside of the bed. Right? I would just go and no longer want to come out for the bed. Day after day. Uh, and it was a psychiatric nurses that dropped me up during the sleep at night. And they would have me exercise. 
because they established that um, and this is another thing that my uh, heartbeat rate uh, would become so slow that it clearly suggested that my wish could easily come true. Um, I, I was actually really dying inside of those, inside of that psychiatric hospital. At one point in time, uh, they were certain that it is it for me. So the possibility has in it um, that it is the heart problem that I have much bigger than what I thought it would be. This video is related to a heart problems. Uh, this video is related to a damage they caused me during MK Ultra in respect to heart problems and to having as many as possible heart problems. That's exactly what this is. It's a perfect set right there next to the car because it will reduce eventually into a driving issue, literally into injuries they were causing through the use of steering wheel. You know, steering wheel. Can you imagine steering wheel? Literally were using the steering wheel to cause as many as possible injuries to the heart on the left side of the heart area. What happened exactly inside the psychiatric hospital was that um, <sighs> I, I, I came to terms that would be the best for me to just die until at least the day would come when they would say, okay, I'll sick, now you go home. Nobody even knew from a medical perspective, from the medical point of view, from the nurses, psychiatrists, who would not dare to even touch the subject of symptoms related to a paranoid schizophrenic issue. They would not even dare to touch the subject. No, none of the medical stuff, in other words, came to terms. Some, most of the nurses of which, they did not even understand, understood why I was in there. So I came to terms that they were playing all the time with the pillows, stealing pillows and so on. And I said to myself, fucking pillows and everything. Uh, I just positioned deliberately the bed into completely, completely flat, like into the line. And then I went sleep with those psychiatric pills inside a psychiatric hospital. And I actually even hoped for the worst, so that they would not even come. Um, and so it was. It was... It, it, it went like this for for some time, day after day, day after day, and they threw me inside of the MK Ultra, took me out and so on. Uh, and what I'm gonna take you next in a few moments, it was exactly the same setting I was using. I was using exactly completely flat on the floor foam to sleep on it. Uh, I, I think it's actually very healthy except for the part where the head comes uh, it yeah i agree it should be elevated in my case in general case no but in my case due to amount of health problems they created yes during the sleeping i have to tell you this a 100 years old physician from ohio i have written about, even worn uh, people such as my ex-schoolmate that supposedly died a few months ago and his brother Drago Dobravec on how I'm not supposed to yeah, they poisoned my kidneys liver and they were exercising ultimate tests to which terms they came based on like, what would you do if you would have this kind of problem with this kind of health issue? And they came to terms to test what it would be like for me to drink the water because it was related to kidney, to the liver and such issues. So they wanted to see exactly what the water would do with me when during the sleep, when I would sleep and uh, such issues because it was cancer involved in it. There are those kind of issues, blood clots. Um, 
and it was evaluated what the sleeping would do for me if I would drink and sleep on my back, the damage, that kind of stuff, you know, and why I would do this kind of stuff and so on. Um, this is basically how far they progress, this kind of torture, but it's also a few days ago that I realized I wasn't only warned against drinking water on the back, which is still the same as written on the Google after I checked out. They pointed me, you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to, and so on. You're not supposed to. Uh, and issues uh, are related to other positions that you would, would do this kind of stuff. Uh, to clean your kidneys during the sleep, basically, because this anemia is related to the sound that goes 24-7. Uh, it's inflammation type of stuff, which is straight related to a cleanliness of the blood. It all depends on how clean the blood is. Um, something that I learned eventually uh, have a big impact on a cancer, on the injuries they inflicted on me. And it's why I started to do that stuff, especially before I get up in the morning. I go and I drink a lot of water uh, so that I cleanse them as much as possible. So once I get up, uh, it doesn't get into my left foot, those kind of issues. Uh, so that I rather the dirty, you know, I give the kidneys chance to clean itself. You know, they teach me about the mornings, how it would be important to also use something that would support immediately prior to eating like a real meal that you should eventually consume like raisins and something sugary and stuff like this so it raises insulin starts a kidneys to operate yet obviously that this had a lot to do with the kidneys to, to properly operate on what you would continue with the main course or, or uh, morning breakfast if it's a major one and so on and so forth they give me a whole background about this on what to do on what not to do of which unfortunately I did not remember due to 1000 conspiracy theories of lies they continued to instill in me absolutely nothing I did not I did not remember absolutely nothing what they give you they basically give you what is less credible than lies because they make lies so much more realistic through the use of violence that the truth if one flashes one in front of you you don't even you don't get to see one literally so yeah i was sleeping like this and in a few moments as i'm going to continue i'm going to explain to you i a few days ago i changed the position and i elevated my back uh, into a little higher position and that resulted in what I earlier stated was just as I really got such a beautiful sleep eight hours of sleep and I couldn't help myself but to stretch myself the only thing it was it was not spine related I hear I heard what I heard always during MK Ultra uh, whenever they would do this kind of stuff to me always was the present when I would go sleep, I would already know exactly what's going to happen in the morning. I just heard like crook, like crook, pink, like something would break apart literally. And really, it had nothing to do with the bones, spine, or anything like this. It really was as to what 100 years old physician from Ohio, Howard, whatever his name is, uh, claimed it's actually impossible. It was proven possible it was actually cardiovascular it was related to the heart indeed that's why i also know it was because he had a problem with it he couldn't believe that they eventually even accomplished with that kind of stuff to get through somebody suggested yesterday through the media mainstream media 
that's based on a surgery of somebody in the family they have will all depend on how many hours that's going to take and the surgery of their family individual it's what i can compare my coming health problems with and based on <laughs> based on this uh information that i have seen i always use to remind me of a coming nightmare in respect to their health problems uh it appears that i'm not going to name a person and maybe one day when the case is over this video is not going to be published yet anyways based on that information you know, this person spent eight hours on a surgical table basically the thing is that it's, it's, it's a possibility it's something i was told already had taken place way before you know in 2015 2017 the last i'm pretty sure this was the case because that's what they talked to me about but supposedly that's and that's why i'm not going to go into these details it did happen yesterday and spent eight hours on a surgical table uh i should be expecting a lot a lot of health problems in respect to the damage that was done to me this person was involved this people were involved in a torture heavily um and appears were actually financing this crime this butchery i don't actually believe even so they could as many suggested one day i would depend on them and they would help me out i think these people foremost wanted to brain kill me i think they wanted to take the will for life from me because this was such a big really a bestiality human bestiality is what this was it lasted 48 years and i don't think these people wanted to see me on a picture anymore so <coughs> i think they had a lot to do with it anyhow that's all i wanted to share with you in this video it was that kind of injury uh, that also police exercise during MK Ultra. Probably since like I don't know, I don't know, maybe 2013, 2012, I don't know. Maybe longer. Who the hell knows? Uh, it's just I didn't have foam. I would sleep on longer. So that's what I'm basically assuming. But I'm gonna tell you this shit happened so many times that I became eventually scared when I came with the police officers to this room to go sleep with them because I. I was thinking about the mornings. The worst part of the, about the morning was a pain in the chest. And exactly what I stated to you. You could hear artery actually like stretching. Like it must have been all fucking squeezed at night. Totally. Not the spine. <laughs> it would have been spine. That would be okay. But I'm talking about the heart. Heart issues. So that's all I wanted to say about this video. The police officers will get also this. This also will get out. I will. I report about that stuff too. Um, but... Uh, the most important part here is a medical examination so that we know exactly what's going on. So we can use these issues to rationalize the uh, ultimately in Slovenian language. We can fund <coughs> in aspect to injuries also the type of abuse that was taking place. I think the biggest problem is going to be getting fair evaluation because of uh, these people have a lot of money. And yeah, you're talking about police here also involved state um, you were able to see how the hell that went on. Uh, when you can make, you know, 100 meters walking. Uh, and, uh, you actually need a few days to collect yourself, your shit together. So you can, you can, you can actually walk all the way to, 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 to examination, to the hospital. Um, and, uh, they fucking tell you that there's just nothing wrong with the spine, you know. And, uh, that kind of stuff, that's, um, you know, it, it's pretty bizarre. Pretty bizarre stuff went on. Pretty bizarre. With the physicians pointing out what you're gonna have involved in it, checking you out, observing what you have, meeting them in person, uh, and uh, you're just not allowed basically to to say anything and so on and so forth. That's 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 quite unique, yeah. But that's how it went. So, how you... I did not video record this properly. Uh, here is what the deal is. Uh, this is. A foam, sleep on the foam, yes indeed. Foam is actually, in my opinion, it's actually really healthy because it's on the floor, it's down on the floor, it's good for your spine. Unless you have injury on your spine. Even if you have injury in your spine, I think it's still good. And then you have these parts here. This, this one here is what I have used and I would fold one like this, you know. Uh, get myself up there. 
and um, it just happened so that my spine would be pushed like this inside, you know, with this up here and spine pushed in there, so the spine was curved. It also felt that the spine was not only like this curve, but it was also like this curve, like it was bad like this. Police officer told me, um, once you're going to do this stuff here that you see right there, uh, the minute you're going to do that stuff, the next day I'm going to come to investigate this. And uh, he said this this to me during MK Ultra with first saying to me, on how I have to, how it's important for me to adjust myself when I sleep on the floor to properly sleep. This always was the room where they were doing this kind of stuff. Police would come to this room to sleep. They would not sleep inside of my room because it's the floor that's poisoned. Is what they claim that floor had like 10 or more times of the cancer level or something like this. It's old tapis on that, that should have been replaced a thousand times already. So anyhow, uh, and uh, the, this particles flying all over because of the floor, that the floor is uh, no good. Simply they needed to be replaced. Um, once you have to do this for you, or if you're not going to do this, you're going to suffer consequences and such and so on. And I said, and where, where am I going to get this kind of stuff? And he said, he said, he said to me, Right there is where you're going to get. Right there is you're going to get. And that's where basically what I pick it up, this stuff. Now, it doesn't matter. Um, right there is where you're going to get one. But he said, the moment you're going to place this under your bed is the moment I'm going to come to investigate. Why would he say that? He said that it was the same shit with all other issues because, of course, because it was constantly used during MK Ultra to worsen heart condition basically yeah so i tell you that the stuff that was used was used for the worst of the worst it couldn't be worse than that i mean the injury was severe super severe injury that left me that's very important to disclose. This happened on a second. In the morning I got up, I got plenty of sleep, but I had a tremendous pain in my back. The second day I wasn't even going, I was going to go exercise, but I did not exercise because the pain in the heart area in my back was so severe and it was not related to my liver, which also would do this kind of stuff and I have problem with. But it was related to the heart i knew immediately something also physicians they warned me about saying to me for both for liver and for the heart just wait once the pain gets in your back and you're going to see about that stuff physicians from general hospital novel Mesta, who just like police would administer sometimes even sleep next to me, it was nurses, physicians, MK Ultra staff members, police. Most of the th most of the time, of course, nine out of ten times it was the police who did this. However, here and there, they would also have professional staff that would monitor this stuff and watch how it's this progress being done to it. Today is the third day, and today, finally, and I did not do absolutely any exercise, I feel good enough to go on with exercise. Three days for one sleep like this, and what they refer to this kind of mistake, they call this, it's going to be your ultimate mistake. I figure out that that's why I didn't go on exercise. Because if I would go, if you would go exercise with that kind of stuff, you're true, you're dead. This is the second time I am doing this video and I decided to do, to invest extra into it because I came to realize that a month ago when I published a video in which I have barked, I barked in a video deliberately because 
the stuff I am talking about on my new site is beyond bestial. This is not this is not humane. This is this is what you see in the zoo. This is worse than actually this is I don't know. This is this is I would imagine that you would do the stuff like this into I don't know. Actually I was trying to understand what a psychiatric hospital, what madness would be since I was small and I got police officers, they would give me their own versions of understanding what madness is and stuff. And the stuff I am talking about here in this new site, I really did not understand what madness is, what, what, how could possibly be mad, what, what is madness. And I was always trying to understand what madness is. I know there was a lot of cruel things, uh, but madness, The video I have video recorded about a month ago, in which I have barked deliberately, uh, is about just as close to good I possibly could do to Prince Harry, to Prince William, to King Charles, uh, Prince Andrew, to British royals, I figure out, because you don't even do the stuff like this to animals. Yeah, and so the stuff I do talk about on my news site, it actually places me below rank of the animals. So I started to bark and stuff so that I could at least uh, maybe depict them as uh, rational or something. Yeah, because, you know, uh, you, you bark and, and, and you do stuff like you, you know. They always acknowledge me as not normal and stuff like this, so why not? Um, and then I come to realize because Sergey Breen and Larry Page did get promise, and under my accounts, all through they commenced this already in 2022, it did appear uh, remixing option for the first time that I acknowledged one, I saw it. Uh, permission to remix. And the content, the video that, that I post as a creator to which many people also object. It's not cool with many people. I, I've come to realize that a lot of people complain about, a lot of people don't like that. I'm not the only one. Uh, and so uh, I came to realize that my video is no longer only censored, uh, that my not being only deprived of the online revenue on my videos. You see, views, number one. One, one person, that's what the fuck I do for three people to see the videos. That's what uh, YouTube depicts me. That's what the Larry Page and... Uh, Sergei Brin, Mikhailovich, Mikhailovich, Mikhailovich. Uh, that's what, uh, basically, that's how they, they like that. You know, they, they, they are just basically what they like. They, they, are, fuck, they, they are free to do whatever they want to do, you know. So that's all there is to it. So you see, license, creative license, and then you have here short remixing. A lot of video and audio remixing. So it's a lot of people that this comes automatic. When you publish the video, this shit comes automatic. You don't have to do anything for this stuff. Uh, I didn't even save the button or anything like this, but you were able, it just reset it itself. Uh, when I clicked that, I was just going to use that as an example and then set that right back. Uh, and automatically it reset itself, the page, basically. Let's see if it's going to re reset itself now. Now, contrary to this, it doesn't even reset itself. So if, if you click the allow video and audio remixing, it will save automatically. But if you click do not allow, it will not save at all.
you see this shit it won't even give you actually option to click the save button yeah so when I realize that kind of stuff so the way to save is basically do this Uh, we're going to try to do this. And now I'm going to click the save button. So it's going to save. Wow, man. Um, so when I, once I realized this stuff, I said to myself, let's, 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 let's video record this stuff again. Because it's not okay. And it's something the two have promised me they're going to do to me these are google and youtube founders with their parents involved in mk ultra case talking about sergey mikhailovich let's say uh sergey brin mikhailovich from moscow involved in this case already probably since 1990 all right so the parents from the sergey brin from the sergey mikhailovich a Google founder in the United States of America now. They immigrated to USA through this case. Were involved in this case already for like 33 years. Uh, so I decided I'm going to do this stuff again. This will be a little bit too much. And so that I, I wouldn't want to produce this kind of video. I'm going to do it again. Yeah. Folks. In, uh, in this zest to cause as much injury, as much harm as possible to my heart, uh, the people here from the village, the village people, and I am going to go ahead and take time to write their names. these people came inside of this house from entire village and they that threatened on God knows how many occasions they that threatened with the guns uh, it was all kinds of stuff this is this village here Kirka that you see here and I am talking about a family everybody here I'm talking about this family here uh, I am talking about all the people from the Kirka village, there is nobody that can be actually immune, excused from this crime. But the people that truly did uh, went like really, really overboard. This is our house here. These are the same people as I already mentioned here. This is Collins here. Uh, this absolutely is this family here this Berger family who was involved in it I already told you since my age 10 earlier since my second grade maybe since my since age 9 is where Marco Berger was involved in this stuff then you have a house here behind this from Igor Kotter who administered and was in charge for this kinds of medical butcheries and then you have here you have Yerman uh, Zdenko Tine and uh, here you have a Cyril and you have his brother Method Yerman You got two families here very very important to me I already have spoken to you about these issues this is a police officer who had enormously a lot to do with it um, what I can say is that uh,
what I can say to you about this stuff is that Cyril in method, Cyril in method. That's how they teach me the Slavic way. Cyril in method. Yeah, the Slavic. Saint Cyril and the Saint Method. Yeah, you can learn also about this. These people are. under every standard 100% criminally you know criminally criminally insane compare themselves to this Slavic serial method missioners and stuff like this and simultaneously to this bullshit these are the people I actually grew up with these two guys here the two brothers were spreading a very very serious crime against me and uh, the crime I'm gonna talk to you in this video is uh, you might this is continuation of how far police have gone in respect to causing me heart cardiovascular injuries concerning heart This entire family here, Sinichar, everybody from them was involved in this, and I'm just, I am shocked that they would go into issues like this. I, I just, this village, I don't, maybe the best I can describe this village is that the Serbs finally and Russians were laughing at them. Uh, they suggested me during MK Ultra that these village people are insane. Uh, they suggested me during MK Ultra that these village people took things too seriously. Well, you know, it was here all kinds of people like Milosevic. Uh, like Kara it was here a war criminals from Serbia that visited this um, so I don't know who was more crazy who was more insane criminally insane in respect to this stuff but this is a power steering wheel Power steering wheel. It's been around already for some time. But the thing is that Lexus has a different kind of steering wheel. Toyota has a different kind of steering wheel uh, and they got involved in this stuff they heard about this kind of stuff uh, it prompted attention uh, and they did not hesitate uh, to tumble straight into developing a, a wheel that was very very easy to move actually with a finger you could turn the wheel electrically assisted wheel power steering wheel uh, it came to life I'm not gonna say that because of me this is this you're talking about truly uh, not even electrically uh, assisted power steering wheel I have no idea but I don't even know how long this stuff is, but this stuff, Toyota and Lexus got involved in this stuff, learning about what went on, and uh, when I say, what, what the fuck went on? What went on is that, 
They had me sit inside of the car like you see right there. There's an example. Not, not in a car like this, but some old junk. Uh, and they would have me sit inside of the car. Very similar to what they did to me with the fishing. Very similar to what they did to me with walking on uphill, downhill. Uh, very similar to what they did to me with um, also with other issues which they use to intensify uh, injuries through the poisoning of kidney and liver. Uh, so what they do is they inflict you a physical injury to the dots where they want you to uh, suffer from. Uh, then what they do is they uh, start to create, uh, to create, develop in those parts of affected body uh, what is known as a chronic injury through the repetition of certain using certain either issues or movements which will disallow body to permanently heal because you continue to open the wound over and over and over and over and over again in this case what you see here went on for no less than 25 years so what they would do is they would use like this yeah so you have you have a problem now in the body your body is poisoned and your arm is inflated the cancer lymphoma uh, the left foot is inflated uh, cancer um, you have uh, injury on you in uh, in your left uh, under the arm on also on your left side of the heart they developed uh, and every time when the blood gets really really poisoned uh, through the kidney through the liver uh, it's this kind of stuff that inflates affected areas basically this is the areas they want you to have them uh, affected yeah uh, and so they seated me inside of the car and they had me move, twist, uh, just like you see here, the wheel basically uh, in one direction, then in the other direction, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth while sitting uh, and were uh, developing uh, the injury in the left side of the heart. Yeah, for which they guaranteed me uh, interesting enough when I ask why do you have me do this why am I doing this why do you want me to do this they would not give the answer just do me a favor just do me a favor and they were talking about if you're going to be able to drive we want to say we're going to be able to drive uh, we want to see how you drive and they just relate to you in a such a way that they actually stimulate you in turning the wheel and because you are drugged up you're basically paralyzed partially you do not feel the injury you don't feel any kind of injury you feel injuries only if they prompt you if they say do you hear the sound do you feel the pain in your arm do you feel the pain on the left side of your heart do you feel the pain in your foot then you feel otherwise you don't feel shit do you feel the pain in your spine disc injury do you feel harm you no okay But they do tell you sadistically in the city, like for instance, this police officer stated, when you feel when you drive the car and you're turning the steering wheel and you feel that you have a pain, that you have a pain in in uh, uh, in, in the left side of the heart, yeah that's when you know that it's like time to go to the physician to the doctor and they claim to me over and over that i'm not going to be capable to drive the car which is stuff like this somebody tell you it's it's like fucking crazy like you go to mike tyson and say hey man you're not going to be able to drive the fucking car you know and you, and you say why the fuck yeah <laughs> because you know you're going to be all fucked up yeah, like this basically oh you see so there you have a chance you don't. You don't. I am different than other YouTube users, than other internet users. You don't.
You don't have any kind of right to do this. I did this time to let you know, do not even think about mixing, remixing, doing any kind of stuff with my content. You have no right. In a little bit, I'm going to tell you what started since my age of four, if not earlier. So, the same way, the same way they were fortifying this kind of injury, this is different kind of injury than the one I demonstrated you inside of the room. Inside The injury inside of the room is completely different. I, it took me about three days, I did not even go exercise anything, I was just laying down. When it was time to go sleep, I went to sleep, fuck it. It's a different kind of injury, this one. It's a totally different. The stuff I was talking about, this was like inside. It's like, like, almost feels like it would break like a pen. It's like, you know, it's totally different stuff. It was the stuff, the same shit they did to me with the fishing pole. They had me on the river, talking again, again here about the Redek family, talking about Senichar family, talking about all these people here from the village. Uh, neighbors here, Kolenz, Peterlin, all, all these people here from village claiming me that I'm not going to be able to fish ever again. Like, the fuck you going to tell me I'm not going to be able to fish? And they had me have a fishing roll, a pole, and they had me throw uh, a lure back and forth in the Kirka. That was heavy. And I did not understood, you don't understand that you're poisoned, that you completely, your body is totally poisoned, and you continue to do this, and you continue to do this, you're creating like a heavy duty, physical injury to yourself, because it's repeated. And as I stated, it's a stuff that went on for 25 years. You don't feel when you have sure when you wear a shoe like this and somebody steps, hits you like this on the top, boom, like this, you don't feel nothing. He tells you, boom, step on your foot. That's because you did this and you did that. You drugged up, you don't understand anything what he's saying. You know? And if you say, how are you going to fuck me? And what? You say, and what? I, and he will say to you, I just did to you. And he will laugh to you like this. I just did to you. It happened to me a million times during the Ultra. Not once. It went on for 25 years.